Welcome back to Ecto 3D Printing. Today I want to share my experience of wood filament with the Ankamate M5. Let's take a look. So if you saw my last video, we changed out the nozzle on the Anchor Make to a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, which was needed for this wood PLA because it's got the wood fibers in it. So most of these were printed with the 0.8 millimeter nozzle, except for this Groot. I decided to try and lower the nozzle to 0.6 and it printed just fine. And I think overall, uh, 0.6 is a good option if you want to use that. 0.8 also worked as well. It just depends on what you want out of those nozzles. So first off, let's take a look at what I printed. So as you can see, I've printed probably about half a kilo of wood PLA and the results turned out pretty well. They weren't always perfect from the get-go, but the ones that worked, worked pretty well. So let's get into it with this little pencil holder. This is like a little wicker looking pencil holder. I think it turned out pretty good. Seems are a little rough where the threads overlap, but overall a pretty clean print and I like the way that it feels. It kind of feels like wicker, like a wicker basket. After that, I printed some baby groups. This one's the bigger of the two that I did. My smaller one didn't turn out as good as this one, but this one I think turned out pretty well and I'm happy with the results of this one. So after the baby group, I decided to print this Voronoi vase, which has like a normal vase with the Voronoi section up top. And as you can see, I stained it. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, but this one turned out all right, not perfectly. The Voronoi structure is pretty rough and we'll talk about some of those things here in a little bit. Um, after that, I decided to print a headphone stand so this is a stand that you hang your headphones on, on your desk or whatever. And this one turned out pretty okay. This one I actually had the most issues with. So it started doing it again. The whole flaring up on the sides thing. I don't know what, what is happening. If it's the slicer or if it's the filament. Like it is these weird outcropping things that just mess it up. We'll try this one again, see if it works. There, it did it. It did it again. When it's rounding the corners. What is it doing? It's like quadruple extruding the corners. Look at that. That's so weird. This was all of the attempts of getting it to work. Probably four of like the first three layers. Uh, just trying to get it to work. It kept like bugging out and doing like shoot offs and stuff like that. Pretty weird. Um, but I got it to work eventually and I got things sorted out. And the last thing that I have printed with the wood PLA is thing. And this one actually turned out, I think, the best of all of the things that I printed. The Groot's pretty good, and the wicker basket's pretty good, but this thing has the most detail, and I think it turned out very well. It printed like this, with no supports, so, it, I mean, it printed pretty well. And the details on it are nice and sharp. So let's talk about print settings for using wood PLA with the Incomake M5. So on the spool of the filament, the temperature rating says 200 to 220 for the nozzle and zero to 50 for the base plate. And for my prints, I did 50 on the base plate, 60 for the first layer, and then 50 for the rest. And I also did about 205 for the nozzle temperatures. So the overall quality of the prints is pretty good, I think. Uh, you can't get super fine details, just because the nozzles are bigger. But there are a few things that I want to point out in particular that are somewhat of a struggle for this wood filament. And that is fine details, like on the Voronoi vase. The Voronoi structure is pretty rough and you can like see where the nozzle circled around to make the structure. And also we see that on the Groot's fingers. Another thing that it struggles with is bridging. It's really not great at bridging. 
as we can see on this uh, wicker pencil holder, in the grooves are all the bridges, like all of the threads, all the strands of the wicker are bridges. And you can kind of tell by the globs hanging down in the middle of all those bridges that bridging is not a strong suit. Now I did have the cooling fans on. They were on auto through Prusa Slicer. So maybe that was the issue. But if I printed with the Ink and Make Slicer, then it was on 75 to 100% by default. As an example of the struggle of the overhangs is this headphone stand. It's like really stringy and it's really not clean at all. Since it was building a fillet, out from the base plate when it was printing like this it basically had to print pretty close to midair and it kind of struggled with that so that is one thing that's a struggle for wood filament now let's talk about this staining experience wood pla is known for being sandable and stainable so that is what i have tried to do with these two prints right here the headphone stand and the voronoi vase so let's start with the vase I sanded it first off because there were some like a little bit of globs. They weren't necessarily the seam lines, but there were just some globs here and there. And then with the staining, I just used this Minwax poly shades, whatever that I found in our supply closet. Never used it before, but I decided to use it on this, but we'll see how they dry. On both of these, but more particularly on this headphone stand, I made the mistake of using a paper towel to apply the stain, which left a bunch of fibers from the paper towel as dark spots. So that wasn't a great call by me, but I am not a painter. So that was my rookie mistake. But that's my experience with staining the prints. Now, out of curiosity, I wanted to see what would happen if I soaked some of this PLA in water. So I printed two calibration cubes of the exact same size at the exact same time, but I decided to soak one in water. I just plopped it in a cup to see what would happen, and my experiment didn't result in much. I do think that it might have swelled a little bit, but I think since the majority of the filament is plastic, it's still fine. If anything, the wet cube's just a little bit heavier from having soaked up a little bit more. But as far as the structure goes, it didn't change much. So I'll, I'll weigh the differences on a scale and I'll put the weights uh, on the screen here. So this is the wet one and this is the dry one. Here's the weights of what they were. Now let's talk about some more of the failures. So the first thing I printed was the Voronoi vase and I was really confused when it started printing. What is happening? Something is wrong. It's supposed to be a solid vase. I do not know what happened. I think it was a slicer bug because it happened on the headphone stand prints too. So I took the model back into the slicer and the model said it was like corrupted or Prusa said that it needed to be fixed. So I repaired the model with like their online, online whatever. After that, it printed just fine. So that's the strangest failure I've ever encountered. So that was fun. There we have it, my experience with the Anchormake M5 using wood PLA filament. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to put links to all of these models that I used down in the description. And also, I'll try to link to the filament that I use. So, until the next video, I'll catch you later.